try to make the team. How much more settled do you feel this year versus last year? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a big difference uh, than last year. I feel uh, a little more confident in the locker room, you know, on the ice, and uh, I think it helped me. It's, it's, you know, last year I was coming here and I didn't know anyone. Now I'm coming here and I have some friends here. So it's uh, make me make it easier, everything, you know, all around. So uh, I feel really good. Do you think you'll be able to to sort of replicate to do what you did at the end of last season this year? Do you think it'll be any easier to do that? Do you think it'll be harder because people sort of, opponents know you now? Uh, I don't think about this. Uh, just uh, gonna play the same, uh, same game I, as I do uh, as I did last year and uh, see see if it's gonna bring something. What did you learn from last year going going into the summer and sort of getting ready for this year? Yeah, I always I heard a lot of times the second season in NHL is the is the worst one, you know. But uh, you know, I can change it. I just work out the uh, just work out in summer, same as like uh, right. Sorry, <laughs> same as like like I did last year, you know. And uh, I can change anything else. I just have to work hard every day. Is bigger and stronger? Is that kind of what you're just trying to do all the time right now? Still at this point, or yeah, you know, it doesn't gonna come in uh, one summer. So I, I am building it on, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, we can get there. Did you try to bulk up a little this summer? What? Did you try to oh. get a little? Oh, yeah, of course. Obviously, I've been working out all summer, so uh, see, I feel pretty strong on the ice, but uh, you know, uh, we still don't have to forget that I'm the skills player, so I don't. I can't be the strong, strongest guy on the ice. Did you have you gained any weight, though? Did, have you sort of you know, gone on scale and figured out if you gained any muscle over the summer? Or? I feel like I did, but when I step on the weight, it's just showing still one, 181. So uh, mm -hmm. see, see where we can get before the camp. Did you go back to Europe this summer? Go back yes. Home? You stay home? Stay I've been back home in Prague. What's it like now going back to the National Hockey League? Well, you last you talk about Mr. Krejci, so now you're yeah. in that situation. No, in Prague it's a lot of tourists, so nobody recognizes you, you know, but. Uh, <laughs> But uh, when I've been back home, you know, in my hometown, uh, Havirov, it's a pretty small town and it was going there a little crazy, but, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. It was, it was uh, the town where I learned to play hockey and where I started and when the, all the young kids came to me, you know, it felt nice because I just recognized uh, when I was uh, exactly the same like them, you know, when some of the other guys came there and uh, been bigger than me. I, it was nice I could, I could talk to those guys and... Uh, I enjoy being back uh, home. Can you spell that the name you tell? Spell it? Yes. H A V I R O V. <laughs> you uh, you had a lot of chemistry with uh, with Luch, uh, yeah. you know, the last few months of last year. Tough to see him move on and not coming back. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I when I've been living, you know, uh, before I went to airport, I still been with him, and he drove me to the airport, and I uh, I didn't think uh, about anything like this could happen. But you know, it's hockey. We 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 getting paid for it and uh, we are just in a business and you never know what happened. Of course, I'm gonna miss him. He he teach me a lot of a uh, lot of experience. I, I took all I could from him and uh, I appreciate it from him. Is that kind of one of your first lessons?